Yo, happy holidays Guardians, I'm Sincere and today we will be taking a look at the Eyes Luna. We'll be answering four main questions. Who is the Luna for? What does the Eyes Luna do best? What are some ideal perk combinations? And should you main the Eyes Luna? And uh, let's get into it. It's been almost three weeks since the 30th anniversary content dropped and I've had the opportunity to farm a few quote unquote god roll Ayers Lunas and I've been able to put in some time with them in the crucible. Now I will fess up and say right off the bat I might be one of the few people who feels like you're almost forced into liking this gun because of its legacy but I have given it quite some time and some consideration to be able to share some honest thoughts and opinions on it. Let's start with who is the Eyes Luna for? To keep a long story short, the Eyes Luna, in my opinion, is a great PvP weapon for new light players or players who are just returning back to Destiny after a long break and haven't had the time or the means to farm some of the more popular adept weapons, specifically the Time Lost Fatebringer or the Adept Palindrome or any of the Adept Trials weapons. Before I get roasted, I don't mean to say that if you already have a Palindrome, or a fate bringer you shouldn't farm these weapons but to me if you already have these god rolls for either the palindrome or the fate bringer then you simply are really just farming these out of luxury rather than out of necessity so what does the eyes luna do best if i had to say what the luna does best it would be that its perk pool is not overly punishing it has very viable perk combinations both in the third and fourth column perks which make this gun very competitive its weakest perk being unrelenting, which in my opinion, requires the stars to align consistently in the crucible to see any real uptime of this perk. But hey, this could be the perk that clutches the seventh column for you. Not only is the Luna very build friendly, it is also by far the smoothest dungeon boss farm that currently is in Destiny 2. You can even get up to two Eyes Lunas per boss kill, and if you haven't looted anything from the previous encounters in the dungeon, then your loot pool will be even more restricted, resulting in increased lunar drop rates. Then what are some ideal perk combinations? In the previous section, I talked about how versatile the lunar is, but you might be wondering what exactly I mean by that. I've tried my best to categorize player mentality into three main buckets or archetypes but obviously grade yourself on a spectrum. The player archetype number one, I like to call the jeweler. The typical mentality here is I want a gun that's always going to be working for me to help me win my gunfights. Consistency is key for you. In the third column, you'll want perks like perpetual motion, rangefinder or rapid hit, while in the fourth column, you'll want moving target or snapshot. The second player archetype is the warrior. This player archetype is the showman. This is for the seasoned crucible slayer who wants to maximize his multi-killing potential. This is for players who have a great shot and great game sense. You will need to work a little bit for your initial kill and then you'll become incredibly lethal. In the third column, you'll be after perks such as heating up, Outlaw, Rapid Hit or Rangefinder for the bigger maps and in the fourth column you'll want Kill Clip or Harmony. The third player archetype is what I like to call the Magician. This player archetype is always looking to play around their toolkit, maximize their ability uptime and their neutral game. Hell, dare I say these players tend to take a lot of flack for being quote unquote cringe. In the third column you'll be after Rangefinder or Perpetual Motion and in the final column you'll want headstone or demolitionist. When it comes to the barrels, I'll break these down into two separate tiers, but I'll quickly touch on something. 140 RPM hand cannons are never going to be able to compete at extended ranges. That just isn't their design philosophy. Remember, at extended ranges, you'll be probably challenging 120 RPM hand cannons, DMTs or pulse rifles. So while I understand the temptation to go balls deep for range, there is a point of diminishing returns. My S tier barrel recommendations would be fast draw or steady hand and A tier would be true sight. I don't recommend sure shot or crossfire, but with that being said, if you do get unlucky with the barrels, a handling masterwork is the best thing to nullify those stat penalties. 
For the magazine perks, I'll keep these short and sweet. High caliber rounds or ricochet rounds really are the only viable options here. High cal helps you flinch others, helping you win your gunfights, and ricochet rounds provides the same range bonus as high cal with added stability. While your perk selection in columns 3 and 4 might vary depending on the type of gamer you are, the magazine and barrel selection really should be consistent. Now for probably the most important question, should you main the Eyes Luna? Now, here's the thing about the Luna, it's a good gun, it's got a sleek design, hell, it's the only gun I use in Destiny where I don't feel like I need to run a shader on it, it shoots well, it feels good, but would I use this instead of essentially its main competition, the Time Lost Fatebringer, and the short answer is no. Explosive payloads are just too damn powerful and until payloads get a nerf, I'll be using my Fatebringer in trials or competitive playlists. I know I just said that the only competition it has is a legendary hand cannon, but it's also an opportunity slot for primary exotic weapons. Ace, Dead Man's Tail, the list is endless and that's definitely food for thought. With that being said, if you do have the time, I do recommend picking this gun up, but it is absolutely not a must have in my opinion and I would recommend farming the Time Lost Fatebringer over the Eyes Luna if you are shorter on time, that is until Bungie nerf explosive payload. That's it for today, your friendly neighbourhood guardian sincere, signing out.